Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about the Amazon web service called Cognito. And in this tutorial, I will show how you can sign up if you want a new user. And then we want to resend the confirm code if the user is missing it or it's uh, expired after like 24 hours. And then we did the round over with to having the confirm sign up where you get the code from your email you want to sign up. But before we're starting, you can see I have two files. The .env is my file. So you need to have the Cognito user client ID in your one, and you can find it under your Cognito uh, app, uh, app client settings, and then you can do this. The first one we're gonna speak about should be to install Oh, nope. and, and we don't want this pip install boot to treat this is the framework we want to use in Amazon and uh, when we have installed that we want to say pip install python.env that's the second library we want because then we say import os and import boot to tree import from .env import load.env and but maybe here we go. And then we want to pick up the username and the password. So username should be I will use my email. And the password should be the test password. So we want to say A B C one two three four. And why I'm calling this password and not one two eight? It's because we need a special character. This is the special character. And uh, then we need an uppercase and a lowercase and a numbers. That's why we do this. We're always starting to having a client. The client should uh, having the boot to tree. And the client we want to use should be the Cognito and EDP. And I want the response here. And we need to add the client sign up and for that we need the client ID to get uh, env and we want to copy this and then we need the username should be the same as our username and the password password equal the password and that's it. So easy it is to create the user incognito. So let's print out the, the response and let's call it Python sign up here and see how it responds. You need to specify a region and uh, that's the only thing we need. So I will look up what happened here. And the region is because we need to define the region name in the configuration here. That's my bad. And I will know we are in zero central one. And I will just put this inside the uh, abyss cognito. Um, and then we have it like this, this one. I'll just copy it and put it into my own env file. And when you have done the same, you can go in back and, uh, and this one, and we say os get env, and then we are good to go here. And let's try to sign up again and see what happens. You can see we have a lot of uh, response here. I know my face is over the response code, but in your browser, in your code, it is a, sorry, you will get a response here. And uh, when you have that, we can go back for the Cognito browser and reload it. Now you can see we have the, the username here. It's uh, automatically generated if I'm going inside. You can see the multi-factoring authentication is disabled account status is enabled but it's unconfirmed then we have the id so the username 
and the sub ID it's the same that's meaning we can use the username and then we have the my email address here let's go back and I'll go back for the edits again and then we have a little bit up in this one you have this I think you can see that yeah use a sub and uh, then you have the UUID code this code is a unique code from the user so if you want to save about information about the user then we can just save the UUID here and put it into the database the destination here you can see the response is uh, encrypted the uh, hash the, the username the email sorry that's meaning you cannot if you save this data you will not lock the email correct you need to go inside the cognito to to watch the, the email and that's perfect when you save the logs and you want to save the eGPR then you are right to go here so let's simulate it like we forgetting the, the username and password so I'll just copy this so we don't need all of those again so let's just save it here and uh, let's simulate it like we don't have response to code and that's what we're going to do now so the things we want to do now is just to say recent confirmation code and we need to return again and then we just remove the password here because we don't need it and that's what we basically need here so let's say sending a recode and we response and we should having the response the email here and a little bit so that's working so that's perfect now we need to go in for the mail I will check my mail and then we need to confirm code so we can build the last application in the path. Let's go in for the confirm. Let's copy this and put it inside. Check your mail and return back for the editor. This is my confirm code. Now we'll just add it here as a string and then we want to say confirm sign up and again we need the regular name and the username and then we need to say confirmation code is equal to confirm code if I've done everything right here then it will confirm my changes here and we can go in for the cognito um, like you can see here we're not unconfirmed still and uh, if I run this one, confirm, then it should be uh, confirmed. Let's see about that. It's looked like it's running as a jam. And reload it, and now we are confirmed. So my confirming code, is, it's working uh, as it should be. So now it's confirmed, and you get the response data back, and you can work what you want with it. That's how you can uh, sign up the user, and uh, reset the confirm code, and confirm based on the user's confirm code. Thank you so much to having you here today. I really hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing below in the right corner. And don't forget to like and share this video. And if you have any questions, please make a comment below. Thank you so much. And remember, you can find the code on GitHub. The link will be in the description down below. See ya.